Hey guys, in this video we will be going through 8 facts about famous logos that you may not have heard about before. To give you a sneak peek we'll be going through some of your favourite brands like Amazon, McDonald's and Pepsi, just to name a few. These brands are extremely recognisable and we all seem to love their products. However, we rarely think about the company's logo origins and what they mean, so buckle up and enjoy the show cadets. Starting this list off with number 8, McDonald's. We've talked a lot about McDonald's on this channel, but McDonald's used to have a logo of Speedy the Cook. He is picked here. But Ray Kroc, the founder of the McDonald's Corporation, wanted something different to make sure that he distanced himself from the two original founders. So he hired a designer who created the Golden Arches that we know and love today. As you may know, the Golden Arches forms an M. The M shape was created that way because when you turned it upside down, it looks like female breasts and it's supposed to make you hungry for a hamburger because it reminds you of the carefree times from when you were a baby. I personally don't see this connection at all but let me know if you do in the comment section below. Moving on to number 7 on our list, Amazon. Amazon's logo is unique because it has an arrow underneath it which connects the A and the Z. Part of the arrow is there to be representative of a smile. However, the main reason for this arrow is to show that Amazon has everything you would possibly need ranging from A to Z in the alphabet. That's kind of neat, isn't it? But there's one flaw with this though. I can't seem to buy a car on Amazon. Jeff Bezos, if you're listening, make it happen. It's called the everything store for a reason. Moving on to number 6 on our list, Wikipedia. You may use this for the essays you write last minute if you're a student. The logo of the Worldwide Encyclopedia showcases the Earth in its logo in its entirety. It's connected via a jigsaw and each of the pieces are connected and labelled with letters that are written in different languages. One fun fact about this is when you add these words together from the different languages, they spell out Wikipedia. The best part of this logo is that the logo is incomplete, which showcases what Wikipedia is all about, adding knowledge to the world and making the world a better, more educated place. Anyone can make a contribution, no matter what language they speak, or where they are located in the world. Anyone can help Wikipedia's mission towards providing a free, widely accessible encyclopedia. Moving on to number 5, Subway. Subway has arrows on the first and last letters of the Subway logo, and they're there for a reason, to show that you can eat on the go, like on a Subway if you wished. Subway uses green colouring because they wanted people to believe that they only sold good quality products, and the yellow is used to show that they are a joyful, optimistic and fun brand. Subway is the biggest franchise in the world, and yes, it is bigger than McDonald's. Moving on to number 4, Pinterest. This logo is very simple, however, don't let the simplicity deceive you. Take a closer look at the letter P. It's shaped like a pin. So Pinterest is literally a representation of you pinning digital photos. It's very clever, and this is personally my favourite on this list. For number 3 on our list, we'll talk about Nike. This logo is one of the cheapest logos made on this list and it was created for only $35. The Nike logo was designed by a university student for this very cheap price, and don't worry, the designer was compensated later for a fair amount of money, compared to how much Nike is worth today. The logo is known informally as a swoosh, and is a representation of speed and motion. It's associated with the Greek goddess Nike, who represents victory in Greek mythology. At number 2 we have Pepsi. The Pepsi logo cost an astronomical $1 million to make, is it worth a million dollars? I'm not entirely sure, but the agency that were responsible for the creation of this logo explained that it represented the theory of relativity, feng shui, geodynamics, and many more things. But I still don't understand what these things have to do with a carbonated beverage, and I will probably never know the answer. Finally, at number one, the one that was in the thumbnail, Metro Goldwyn Mayer. For the creation of this logo, dozens of poor lions were tortured until the creators got the perfect shot that they needed. Well, that's a lie. These images that circulated online are fake. I repeat, that's not how Metro Golden Mayer made their famous logo. They tamed the lions and trained these lions under good conditions in order to get them to roar on demand. So no lions were harmed during the making of this iconic logo. So that's the video guys, subscribe for more interesting content about your favourite brands.